for me. I'll start with the negative. Yeah. Mm. The negative, my friend, I will give it to you. I will be not. I feel like you taking a move upon Jared to me. It was a barking, a negative pop. My kicker will not kill me with laughter. So, you guys, hmm. you know, last night, if I before I start, I believe this has really gotten into Pumi's head. I believe because both Makeke and Yolanda, if I did also spoke her honest truth and honest opinion about this. So they had this their fun game night last night where you have positive and negative things to say about a particular housemate. So they came up, they were all just talking, Papa Goose, Lerato, Mish spoke. They said a lot of things. In fact, huh, when it was Young puppy stuff. Hmm. They said a lot of things about. They said lots of things about young puppy, and you know it continued like that. So when he got to Lerato before uh, Makeke's own, Lerato talked about Umpumi. You know she said her negative, and she said the positive side. Okay, the positive side. She really commended her for being skillful for you know she she can do anything if she wants her to play like the church girl she can street girl she can beggar she can whatever you guys know she's a very good actress okay and makeke also said the same so when it was time for okay makeke actually started off with the negative one and he said he told Mpomi the gospel truth that he thinks that her move on Jared is not actually a good one at all. Because, of course, the housemates see and they know that she was the one that actually made this move on Jared. Because there is no point me going to get clips and all that to show you people. I always say it here. That Mpumi is a girl that has lots of potentials. Imagine she hadn't, like, involved herself in the Lema and Jared situation. Lots of persons would have loved her, naturally. I am telling you the gospel truth. I'm here to do an objective analysis. I'm not here to favor anyone. Okay? So what is wrong is wrong. As long as it's wrong in the sight of men, it's also wrong in the sight of God. So if the housemates could talk about this, I believe her fans also. In fact, later, after Makeke said, okay, well, let me tell you guys what Makeke said. When Makeke came up, Makeke called her that, He's going to start with the negative one and that he's going to tell it to her the way it is. That's his opinion. No, it doesn't, it's not going to change who she is. It's not going to like, she can decide to do whatever she wants, but that's his own opinion and that's his own for her. So that was when he told her that, no, that when she came into the house, the first time he saw her, he was like, wow, this is time. I said, oh, oh, my keke. <laughs> you guys, Mpumi's face was like, me, your type? Like, that was what was written all over her. So, later, he said, yes, but the move she made on Jared, mm -mm -mm -mm. it's not really a good one at all. It's not really a good one. Why? Because you knew that Jared was with Lema. What always pains me is that you had a conversation with Jared. You asked him questions. You asked him and he told you. And you went ahead, connived with else to do what to get a lame. So now, what are you expecting? What are you expecting? Same treatment, fairness, or whatever are you looking for? Then thereby you don't get it. You start acting up. You start getting angry and behaving anyhow. So, when Makeke finished, Makeke now talked about the positive side, that she's a good actress, that she still said that. Makeke was not the only person that said that. When it came to Yolanda, Yolanda didn't really talk to her directly, but Yolanda indirectly passed the message to her. Because even in the diary room, Yolanda has been saying it, that the life Jerry is living in the house is not his life. Like the game Jerry is playing is who he is. And a few days back, Jerry had given both Umpumi and Lema options to leave him. Just day before yesterday night, they had a long conversation. After both Lema and Impumi had said they had removed themselves from the triangle. You see them going back there. In fact, I was so pissed to see. The, in fact, the camera had to remove 
has been shifted from them and was showing us people that were sleeping because the whole thing is, is exhausting and it's becoming so boring. I was surprised to see C in Pumi trying to fix herself in that. She belittled herself with that. Truth needed to be told. And she mentioned it herself that, wow, she has been doing bitch shit in the house. Later that night, they were in the room herself, Sinaye and Z, and she was saying that the thing that really got her most was when Makeke told her she deserved better because Makeke said that, that the thing you're doing with this one, uh -uh, because I feel you deserve better. Look at a young girl with so much energy and potentials and you try to paint a wrong narrative about you because of what if you see Liema with Jerry you get leave Liema to live her life that's who she is so when Yolanda said she knows Jerry that that's not who Jerry is and that he feels that Jerry genuinely loves Liema and Liema truly also loves Jerry that when she looks at them she'll be like this is a beautiful love story and they will make beautiful friendship or whatever both of them had but that was how you know he after saying he feels Jerry can be manipulative he's manipulating the women he can be this almost all of them said it even Z said it that he she feels and believes that Jerry truly truly loves Lima. And you can see that that most times they spend time together. Nobody is a saint. It is not all about what Lima does or what. But Mpumi, if Mpumi hadn't put herself in that situation, in that messy situation, in that belittling situation, people would have loved her. But she was later telling Sinaye she's going to do her game all alone. She, she goes about, even till this morning, she is still talking about Lima and Jared. Why the obsession? Why can't you pull yourself out? It's remaining how many weeks for her to pull herself out. Truth needed to be told. Yes, it's Biggie's house. Nobody came to the house with any guy in his or her luggage. But at that time, one should respect whatever you think these persons are doing. If you're okay, share Moshe. You want your own is to come and disrupt. But you do it in a way that everybody will know that it's disruption. And you don't have to focus on one ship. That means you're not trying to go in. That means there's another thing you're looking for. And now, she and Elsa are not even like, like that again because last night she also kind of clashed because she felt Elsa was defending Jared instead of herself. Yeah, that was what she felt. And she made Jared, Jared like got angry at Liema for not defending him from Mpumi. I said, why would Liema defend you from Mpumi so that she would come and get a strike when Mpumi poured alcohol on him? So like the whole thing yesterday, even from when Kosi came, the whole thing got to her. And when she was telling Sinaya that her, she has been doing bullshit and she has really, they told her she deserved better, all the things she's doing, she really regrets, blah, blah, blah. But on until this morning, herself, Taki and young puppy, they were just all talking about, just get over it, move on. Get over it and move on. So please, um, this channel is not anybody's we are not we are not like promoting anybody we are not a fan of anybody all of them are our faves okay but truth needs to be told you ha you saw something beautiful going on between Lema and jared it's not your business it's both of them however they want to play their game however they want to live even if both of them like they want to tie themselves together and bet outside it's none of your business just allow the both of them do it why come in why come in why coming into the whole situation? And now people are indirectly telling you that was a very wrong move. It was not a smart move at all because you would have settled for better. And now imagine Taki and Snae we are talking and they said if they are asked to like kiss and pull me, even if it's a tax, they are not going to do that. And this morning she was telling... Um, Taki and the young papi that um, she had, when young papi was just blowing lies about the situation with him with and Liema, then Pumi was saying yeah, she, has, she doesn't think there's any other guy she can flirt in this house other than Jared. But Jared is with, with someone. Why didn't you just keep it as a friendship and see how the relationship is going to 
how far it's going to go or whether you have a chance outside but you not made it obvious and everybody knew that you're just like forcing things and at the end of the day the guy just just will i say dumped you or snubbed you or he was just using you as i don't know his available available side piece so but thank god all these things they've said to her i believe it has really gotten into her head and let's see how she's going to work towards her but i know it's really going to take her some time to get over it but because she's still talking about it anybody she's with she still is with not lemma is jerry she's still like so much interested she's just obsessed but i know with time she's going to get over it so guys as the gist for that so both makeke has said it to her straight to her face you messed up your game by involving yourself in jerry's situation you wouldn't have done that because you deserve better so let me know what you guys feel in the comments and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel bye